did it, did it, do. This is the Mermelair. It's the Mermelair. It's pretty cool. Oh yeah, shutting down the security system. Yep, the, the, that was the best song releasing on iTunes. Matt and Chris's band entitled Matt and Chris, the band. Oh, I was gonna ask what's their band name, but I guess you kind of said it. <laughs> that is well, you're you're in the band. band. You should know what our band's called, unless you want to change the name. I I mean, we, we are a pretty new band, so. I thought we were still working on the name. Okay, well, what name do you want to be? What name do you want our band to be, Chris? Uh, Fire Crotch. Fire Crotch? <laughs> I looked around my room and I saw a bottle of Fireball whiskey, and then I saw, and I just thought of when I said fire, I just thought of crotch. <laughs> okay then, fire crotch. Okay, we are there definitely crotch. should be a conveyor there, but I don't see it, so I just made it over here a completely different way, and that's all there is to it. So I'm really sure your game is stupid and PlayStation is stupid. And GameCube uh, is It depends better. on it depends. Yeah. Well, I mean, GameCube is better. <laughs> I agree. Like in no. terms, because it because Nintendo. Say so, like Nintendo. I was I was on um I was watching a review on GameSpot of Kirby Triple Deluxe, and I commented it on a while back. Um, and I was like, oh, this game's like this. This is the first GameSpot review that I'm like, oh yeah, they're actually correct. Good job, GameSpot. Yay! Um, but uh, um, I commented on it a while back, and I said that, and I was like. Now I just want to know why they hate Tropical Freeze when it's actually really good. A 20 out of 10 game. Something like that. Um, so, um, then someone commented and was like, oh, should I get a Wii U or should I get, like, not a Wii U? And I was like, well, it, the reason why I got a Wii U, and by the way, I have a Wii U now. That's, Yay! That's Wii awesome. U. Um, I have a Wii U now, but, um, the reason why I got a Wii U is because there's actually games that I want for it, where all yeah. the games on the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One... The exclusives were like underwhelming, and the game, other games that are on, you can just get on PC. So I could just get a good PC later on down the line and just play them. So but if I already had one, then it'd be like, yeah. And so he was like, oh. then, then, well, it, the only games I want are like Batman, Arkham Knight, and some other, some like other game, and you can get them both on PC. So mm. what's the point? And I was yeah. like, exactly. Don't get it. So, I mean, what games do you have for the Wii U? Um, right now, I, I don't have Tropical Freeze yet, but I played it um, at, a, uh, at a friend's house and like in the games, GameStop for like ages. Yeah. Um, but um, I, currently I only have 3D World, Nintendo Land, and Smash. The next ah. game I'll probably get is Mario Kart, and then the next game I'll get after that is Tropical Freeze. Oh yeah, that's another game I need. There's so many Wii U games I need when I get a Wii U, and which then, should probably um, be today. And then um, I also want Captain Toad Treasure Tracker because... Oh, I forgot uh, about that too! The only thing I don't like about Captain Toad Treasure Track is that freaking stupid Toad Brigade theme that no one likes. I actually don't know anything about that game, but I know I want it. It's like, the, um, well, when you play 3D World, there's those like special yeah. Captain Toad levels. Yeah. It's that as a game. Yeah. So when you play 3D World and play those levels, you'll be like, oh, I know what Captain Toad Treasure Tracker is. It's like this, except better and more well thought out. On the entire I feel game. like I'm... Ah... Uh, Where's the third sock? Because I know there's the one inside the thing, but I feel like I'm like missing one when I'm really probably inside not. Inside the thing. Um, you pay a clam towards the end of the level. I'm going for. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. then I, I'm good. Then I'm good. I did this in the original recording too. Woo. Whoa, Nelly! Holy, holy crap! I can't. Oh, we better, I, was, we sh I should mm -hmm. stop referencing the original recording because no one cares yeah, about it. Yeah, that, I, I'm the same way. Whenever I like practice a game and then play it, that's all I talk about. It's really dumb. Is your practice run? Yeah, pretty yeah. much. Yeah, that's one of the main reasons why I hate doing practice runs. Because I'm like, well, I might as well just record it because that's all I'm going to talk about anyways. Yeah. I was just about to say that I got the sock in my first try on those all those conveyor belts, but as soon as I was saying that, I fell and. Right in front of the sock, it, it's just there, taunting me. Sad. Oh no, one health! Kill the guy! Okay, no, no, no. okay underwear. Thank you, underwear. I love underwear. <laughs> Matt loves underwear. What, do you have a problem with me loving underwear? Yes. It, it's Jeez. like you Oh, here's you're the clam that you're panties. talking about. Sweet. And it's the, the, this. I know exactly what it is. We're good. I love the this. Now the question is, Chris, how many, how much shiny objects do you have? Because uh -huh. last time, once again talking about last time, but this is an interesting thing worth mentioning. Uh, that um, you did not have enough things to go through Sand Mountain properly. Oh, 
Good point. Uh, I don't. I think I might run into that problem again, actually, but I'm not entirely sure. Because right now I have 4,000. Oh, I have 2,800. So, yeah. I have no. Oh, where do I jump? Oh, crap. Is that the right spot? Where am I? And I have to go through the freaking disco die. floor again? Well, I'm just gonna die then, probably. Wait, did you just get the sock? No, I didn't get the oh. sock. I missed the sock. Like, okay. I fell down. Oh, Is yeah. That, was that I happened to you? I just got the sock and I fell down. I was like, did this go for it again? I just killed myself and now I'm back to where I need to be. Oh, really? Because, yeah. like, I thought it would just bring me back to the checkpoint that's literally right there. That's why I didn't nope. do that. Unless you activated no. it. I didn't. I, like, I activated the checkpoint before, but I, like, was near it. You know what I mean? So I was, like, worried. That's the one so, thing I noticed about this game. If you... Um, die, or if you fall into a spot you have no idea where you are and how to get back, just die on purpose and then it'll normally bring you back to where you need to be. Then, oh good lord, here comes the bubble bowl challenge thing. No, it didn't do that for me. It brought me, well, whatever. I died later on, so that's possible. Yeah. It's possible. It's that's like, why you gotta do it really quick before it, like, saves that you're there. Okay, well, whatever. I've already threw the disco floor again, so it's like, okay, whatever. It makes no difference. Oh, I'm gonna go get that sock now. Yeah, okay, I'm doing the bubble bowl challenge thing now. Oh, oh security ball. override buttons pressed. You're doing the ball? You're balling the ball? You're balling? I'm, I'm balling. balling. the ball? I'm balling. <sighs> I'm scared, Matt. I'm scared. I fear for my life. I fear for me life, man. Oh, and I just died. Oh, oh, okay. uh, oh, freaking again. Well, that's okay. I flew off, like, into death as opposed to, like, onto the disco horse. That's better. I much prefer flying off into death than disco floor. Do the disco is dance. better than disco floor. Let it be known. Matt, can you dance? Well, not that's now. Fair. Not while I'm playing but, the game now. But, but just in general, can you dance? Like not well, but I can. I I cannot. I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> it's just painfully awkward to me. And then the one few times I've tried, I just get comments. I'm like, nope, never doing this again. Yep. Dancing is not my forte. Is this the- oh, crap, this is the thing. Okay, I'm gonna go down and kill myself now. I don't understand why there's like this weird elastic band that comes around one of the tracks for this bubble ghoul thing. Please bring me back to the area I want to be. Yes, you did. Okay, we're good. <gasps> oh no, I pressed the wrong button, dude! Oh, there we go. I think it's gonna work somehow. Okay, for those that don't know, this bubble ghoul challenge thing is like one of the scariest things of the game. There are two. There are two things in this. Well, there are three things in this game that are really, really, like I, I can't say cheap, but they're just absurd, and no one likes them. And this is the first one. The next one we're gonna encounter really soon, and it's definitely the easiest of the three. Um, and then the third one we're not gonna encounter for a while. It's in Kelp Forest. No! I almost had it, but I fell off the ledge. Oh! Okay, I'm going to do that now. So good luck, me. Uh, or I'm just, just gonna fall back down into the freaking disco floor again. Well, I hope you guys like this, because this is gonna be the entire next four episodes. Dog, don't come in here. I know your name isn't Dog, but don't come in here, okay? <laughs> Thank you. He actually listened to me, too. I'm like, sweet, you listened to me. I'm, I'm, I'm glad. Dogs are so good with knowing there, um, There's a band I like. Um, they're like is a comedy band. Punch? They're called Psycho Stick. Oh. You heard of them? Nope, I have not. Well, look them up. They're a comedy band, and and they and they like just sing about stupid stuff. They're most famous for their the beer song, which just goes like, "Beer is good, beer is good, beer is good, <laughs> and stuff. Beer is good, beer is good, beer is good. Let's go drink some beer like that." Um, but they released a song about um maybe two years ago. But um, they released they made a new album, and that song happens to be on it as well. Um, and it goes, I'm a dog and I like socks. I like socks. I'm a dog. I'm a dog and I like socks. I like socks. I'm a dog. Give me that sock. Um, nom, nom. Give me that sock. Um, nom, nom. We are. And it goes like that. And it's really funny. Wow. Oh, I, I just did it a bit too early. It's just, almost as good as our band Fire Crotch. Yeah, basically. Yay. Fire Crotch, best man. Best band 2014. Yep. Yeah. I wonder if when this episode comes out, it'll be 2015 yet. Cause I mean, it's almost December. Yeah, it is. How did I miss the button at the beginning? That's not even possible. Cause you're a stupid poop head. Oh yeah. There we go. Okay. Go down. No, that thing goes down so slowly. So the spoon slowly. goes down so slowly. Yeah, you just could immediately hit that spoon, and normally that'll. Keep it there in time. 
Alright, go, go, what go, that? go. What the How heck? did it- why didn't it turn? I'm confused. Oh, there we go, okay. So far so good. Oh, there it goes. Come but on. this time, oh, I missed the button. Like, this time- Ah, uh, I'm so upset. Because I'm failing at like the- No! Basic. No, 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 no! Come on! Oh! <sighs> what the? Okay, the spoon got it. The spoon got it. Make your cutscene. I don't care about your cutscene. Uh, I hate that. You know the ground pound in this game with SpongeBob. I yeah. hate that it's the same button as this freaking stupid Sponge Bowl. <sighs> I just oh, want to the Sponge Bowl. That's it's definitely too early. Too definitely too early. I can make it in time. Yes, it is. I almost had it. Ah, are you serious? I almost oh, had Oh, this it. is so dumb. Well, we spent about 10 minutes on this so far. Ooh, don't throw that yet, Chris. Oops. Okay, oh, yeah, we got Chris. that. Hit the spoon. Please don't hit this. Please don't tell me that was too early. It wasn't. The spoon's pretty good. Okay, the spoon got it. Now I just gotta wait for ages for the little boxing rotatey thing. You know what I'm talking about? With the pressure pad and all that? Yeah, yeah. When I try to, like, think of a moment of this area, it's either that or, like, um, the platform you have to stand on that, you know, shifts around and stuff. Yeah. What? Freaking uh, Gelo! Yeah! G no! Yeah, yeah, yeah. G loves me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. G loves me. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love how you can see the salt glow through that wooden platform we have to stand on. Yeah. <laughs> I don't feel like that was intentional at all. No, not at all. But that it, it makes it like so much more stealthy. Like you would never think to actually walk out on that platform if you didn't see that glow. Oh yeah. I wonder if they they knew about that and then they just decided to leave it just because they realized it was a really kind of cheesy sock. Yeah. But I mean, it is pretty obvious that it's there with that shiny shine, the glimmer glamour. All right. Hitting the switch. Okay. Almost at the end. Go across. If you get it before me, I'm gonna be so sad. I might even tear up a little bit. Okay. Last platform. With a fan? <laughs> no, 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 no. No, it wasn't the fan, it was the tilty platform. And I'm and I screwed up the tilty platform. That's yeah. the hardest part, the tilty. Part I got off. I got oh that's totally gonna fall off. <gasps> Holy crap, that just did fall off somehow. Oh I missed it again though! Do I miss? Yeah, I got it. I got to the fan platform, but instead of doing a bubble bowl, I did that ground pound thing, and that just wasted enough time where it's like, nope, couldn't throw it in time. Yeah, the fan is pretty easy, but it's the tilty platform that always gets me. Yeah, that's why I was so frustrated when I died to the stupid fan. Stupid yeah, because fan. you would have gotten it. Yep. Pushing a single button is the most satisfying. But alas, it was not meant to be. <sighs> Please let me finish this in this episode oh, at the no very kidding. least. You well, know? we still have seven minutes left, so I would I hope so. Otherwise, this is going to be a very, very boring video. <laughs> <laughs> the new title for this episode, The Boring Episode, Don't Watch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Whatever you do, do not watch. Watch that. Maybe we should like just one. keep playing until we beat this, at the very least. Yeah, yeah, you're probably right. I don't think it's going to take us the full 20 minutes, so it shouldn't, but now that I said that, it totally is. I didn't tilt it quick enough. I didn't tilt it quick enough. Oh, there's no <laughs> way. <laughs> 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 that's so good. <laughs> that's so good. That's, yeah. that's the new name for the, <laughs> this, this, <laughs> this, loca <laughs> this locale. <laughs> the mur 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 I love that. <laughs> Maybe the second song on our album. Oh my gosh. That's just a demo. That's not the full song. You kidding? That's like the intro. That's just the intro. It gets better from there. Spoon. Spoon. I get it. I beat it. You beat the whole thing? No. I just beat the spoon part. 
Oh. Which, you know, was incredibly difficult. Definitely, it's the hardest part. Okay, freaking robot always being there and being dumb! Don't you dare- thank you, okay. Don't you dare underwear. No, I died! What are you doing? Game! <laughs> game! Right now, you, game, stupid, is, now. Silly game, tricks are for kids. Oh, I should probably go now. What the? It just, like, didn't even turn. Like, the thing didn't even turn. I don't even know why it didn't turn, but it didn't turn for some reason. Oh, am I gonna there do it? Goes. No, dude! I keep getting the bubble bowl to go around the hole, but then it just barely misses the the hole that it goes into where, you know, then you go to the fan part. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah! Yeah! Wait, is, is it going? Oh, it is going. Okay, the tilty platform is by far the hardest part of this. But. Oh yeah, if it wasn't for that thing, this we would have been done this 25 minutes ago. Yeah, like mad time, like all of the times. Millions so many, of times. many, much time. I would have grown a full beard if we had, if it wasn't for that platform. I did. I did, done. I did the no shave November, but like I shaved it two days ago. Or How two dare days you? Ago. Because I didn't want to, I because it was really bad, and I was like, I don't want to do that for Thanksgiving. Dude, well, I the, the, okay, so I missed the button for yeah. to deactivate the hammer. The hammer doesn't even like swing and hit the ball. It's just like if the ball touches it, it just yeah. explodes. Really? It's so dude. dumb. Did I actually, did I? I have a story about No Shave November. Um, I did it, and we took our, we take our graduation photos in November. Oh, so you have your it graduation was... photo with the beard? It wasn't just a beard, it was a mustache. A really, really bad mustache. Like, oh, just the mustache? Or is yeah, it like it, the, whole, the whole nine yards? It, it, well, it, I did the whole nine yards thing, and then for the th last few days I did just the mustache. Oh, nice. And that's when we did our grad photos. And so I decided to make my grad coat, I mustache you a question. <laughs> so good. Yeah, so that was a thing. <laughs> My grad quotes were actually quotes. Like I just don't. And one of them was from George Orwell because George Orwell's amazing. Yeah. And another one was something, and I don't remember what it was, but it was probably good. See, honestly, everyone does grad quotes. So I'm like, you know what? I want to be different. I want to be a unique snowflake, and I decided to do something that maybe people. What? Would get a I hit the going. button. You stupid ball, being all dumb and stuff. Dumb. Dumb. You silly ball. I'm not even getting past the spoon part at this point. You're not even getting past the spoon? Nope. My brain just went on the autopilot mode, and I'm going to go ahead and assume that's why. Now, this is something you really got to think about. What the? Where did the ball go? It just disappeared. <laughs> it's like, screw this, I'm going home. <laughs> How many marbles do you think are in this thing? Are these marbles or are these bubbles? they got to be marbles, right? I mean, you would think so, but then it hits the hammer and it just, like, explodes. Maybe it's an exploding marble. I hate this invisible duplicator Tron that, like, duplicates robots, but it's, it's yeah. just no way. It's so bad. Okay, we literally have, like, one minute left. Well, we're gonna keep going until we finish this, because yeah. this is, this is Bradonka Donk. The super long episode featuring... Fiery... What was it? Burning fire crotch. crotch. Fire, fire crotch. crotch. Well, fire there crotch. goes the ball. Fire crotch. Oh crap! I hit the button too early. I'm a dumb person. Yeah, oh. my brain just went into autopilot mode there for a second. Yeah, I, I I always go with that with games. It's like you'll do really good at something difficult for a while, and then you fail it so many times, and your brain just kind of shuts off, and you start to do way worse, and then you never get it ever again. What the? What? It, oh, come on, ball. Ball? Balls of steel. No, 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 no. See, it's going slowly. Is... No! Okay, that was the he... weirdest thing. And when what? the spoon came yeah. down, it hit the marble as it came down, so the marble just stopped. Really? Oh, yeah, that's happened to me a few times. It, it's pretty strange. And then it eventually just disappears or something. Yeah. That hasn't happened to me this time yet, though, so I don't really know. Anyways, what are we going to do if we're past 20 minutes, then one of us beats it? Um, keep going until the other person beats it. Okay. Fair enough, fair enough. Mm -hmm. 
So if Come I beat Prawn and go to Sand Mountain or whatever. <sighs> and then the worst case scenario is if it's like 50 minutes or something or like an hour, then you yeah. can be like, oh, well, we'll just split into two videos. It's fine. Or I'll just edit it down. That's what I'll probably do. Even though I'm really bad at cutting down videos where multiple people are talking, just going like, what do I cut out? People are talking during the entire thing. I would just jump to like where like not exactly where one of us beats it but like kind of close you know yeah then because if it takes like 20 minutes for one of us to beat this i think it's kind of like okay no one wants to watch this over and over again although to be fair people love the battle toads race so yeah but that game is meant to be levels are meant to be played over and over and over and over again yeah and like I said, oh, I mean, I, I was talking to Chris before this recording. Battletoads is fun with infinite lots. It really the, is. What the, the, the marble disappeared for me, too. What the <laughs> heck just happened? It's just gone. It's just gone. It's just gone. Okay, hammer go up. Hammer, okay. hammer, hammer. Okay, this is it. This is the moment of truth right now. Tilt, 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 tilt. Okay, onto the fan. Onto the oh. fan. Oh, oh. Give her the quick and don't accidentally ground pound. Got it. Really? Got it. You suck, but you're good. So good job. Proud of you. Proud of you. Oh. What a relief. Oh. Huh? Okay. And oh, I'm dude, I can't. I might be able to beat Pawn before um, this episode ends because of the fact that we just said that we keep going till we both beat it. God. This okay, got stupid. the sock. I have, I have all the socks. Got so now I just socks? need to go hit, talk to the button lady. Where's the fourth button? I forgot. What the heck? I can't even get past the first obstacle now. Where's the button? The fourth button. I'm not telling you. <laughs> I hit There's... all the buttons. Oh, you, you missed do? one. You missed one. I must have. I think this happened to me last time too. Yep, I did. I did get all four already. I. Don't even actually remember where the other one is. Off. That. Well, there's the one inside the ballroom. There's the one like right near, like before you even know about the buttons. There's the button next to the lady, like when you talk to her about the buttons. Yep. So which one am I missing? Uh, I don't know. I yeah, what is that on top of her? That looks like a heart. Yeah. It's really weird and scary. I yeah. even I already forgot about that was that that was even a thing. Hmm. Well, where is the last button? Where is the last button? You could do it, Matt. You could do it. You could do it. You could do it. Probably hit that too early. Well, research oh, time because that's that's allowed now. You'll go, hear me go, on my Matthew keyboard. Ranger. I lose manliness points. For what? Or something. For looking up the answer in the middle of the video. <laughs> I think we lose manly points for playing this one for game. <laughs> Mermelair buttons. Okay. I cannot get past the stupid freaking platform anymore! I ah! believe in you, Chris. I believe in me too, but I'm getting frustrated because I can't beat this! Come on. Get you with it. I don't oh, know. I know where it is. It's near the freaking stupid tilty thing. The tilty thing? Really? The, the turny platforms. The turny platforms. Like, the turny thing with Patrick that's really annoying and everyone hates it. Oh. Oh, right, right. We're Barnacle Boys. You miss that? Yeah. Silly. But now where's the conveyor belt to head back there? <laughs> you could just teleport. That's what, exactly what I'm going to do. Because I don't, I don't, I don't even know where that conveyor is. <laughs> it's weird, cause I'm pretty sure you don't hit a button for that to come. Hmm? All right, I get a good feeling about this run. I'm at the tilty platform now. If so, then we'll be right neck and neck if you beat it. Uh, Geos, nope, I died. <sighs> oh, I need to turn to Patrick first. This is not a difficult one. This, okay, this, this has got to be where it is. I don't know where else, which other one I would have missed. Because there's the one right next to the computer lady. Yeah. Then there's the one in the ballroom. And then there's the one 
that you get before in the previous room, so this has to be it. The ball room. <laughs> balls. B -b -b balls of steel. All right. Come no, on. I hit that one. So which one am I missing? Did I? I got the one in the previous room. Did I not get the one next to the computer lady? That would be hilarious. Well, there is two there, so maybe you didn't think you got either of them or something. I'm pretty sure I did, though. You're sure you're missing one? Yeah, I, I see the button thing. It says three out of four. Ten out of ten. Okay, I'm gonna go to the entrance area then, which I, I'm almost positive. Unless I, when I died, did it reset the button in the ballroom? Oh my God. Oh, I'm at the fan. I'm at the fan. I'm at the fan. Yes, I did it! I did it! I did it! <laughs> okay. Sweet. Good job. Look at stupid sweaty Mr. Krabs over there being all sweaty. Yeah. So I guess that means I'm technically ahead of you again for the call for switches. Well, hang on. <sighs> I'm just gonna go back into the previous area real quick, and if it isn't, the, if I already hit that one, then we're calling it an episode. But if <sighs> it is there, then I'm gonna hit it. <sighs> <sighs> Are you relieved, Chris? I'm so happy. You can go and get the the spatula for hitting all the buttons if you want, while I go okay, and find. Okay. Well, that, that's what I'm gonna do, and then we have to end off this episode because it's getting pretty long. She has regained control, Matt. The main computer has regained control. I'm so confused right now. Do you, do you want to figure it out for the next episode? Did you get the special? Yes, I just hit the switch and now all the platforms came down. And now I'm ready to fight Prawn, but I'm obviously not doing that this episode. Okay, yeah, then great. we will see you everyone, you everyone, in the next episode. See where I will hit a button. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Later.